Hello everybody, Belmont here again. Ta here to talk to you about South Park, the fractured butthole. If you're not familiar with South Park in the, in the world of video games, only one other game needs to be mentioned, The Stick of Truth. The Stick of Truth was a hilarious game and for a movie tie-in game, it was great. There was just a lot of things to do. You could explore the town. I wish you could have done more with it. But for what it was for a TV license game, it was phenomenal. Full of South Park humor, full of just adventures, and the fact that it took like an, a role, an RPG effect to it where you could build up your character. It was fantastic. And then when they had to look, change a lot of the game, the creators of the game and the creators of South Park, they got infuriated. They had to change a big, huge chunk of the game had to change a lot of things for localization purposes for for a European release. And they were absolutely furi infuriated by this and that's what makes it such a surprise that they would ever venture back into the world of video games. Because I was not, I was expecting them to just say, you know what, we've made millions off the South Park franchise, you know what, we're done, bye. That's it. And not even metal in the world of video games. And for when it comes to value, this game is already valuable just on the pre-order alone. The fact that you get the stick of truth for current gen release, which means it's going to look better. I myself have do not have the means of actually getting it right now. Not just financial, but also, well, we'll talk more about that in my next video. So with this game, from what I've seen, it looks like it takes a somewhat similar route with it. You being able to branch out your powers, explore the world of South Park, except this time you're exploring that at night as a superhero, teaming up with Cartman, or per, you know, there's probably going to be another faction and it's up to you to make your choice. You play the role as the new kid, just like in the last one. Now, will there be a cross save feature where you can have your character from the stick of truth be into that particular part of South Park, into that particular game? I'm pretty sure there is, at least I know they have the technology for it, especially if you pre-order it, because that way you can actually play the stick of truth until the fractured but whole come out. Now, seeing how you, like the special edition I think is close to um, $100 or something like that, but $100 for two top budget games, which is, you know, you add that price normally, that's $120, bucks, so you're saving $20. And you're getting a game that could whet your appetite and get you, you know, get you through to the next game. Which, hope by the time you hear this, it'll probably be about maybe less than 160 days. So it's going to be quick. It's coming fast. And this makes me impressed with Ubisoft. Because Ubisoft, sure they could have probably released another Assassin's Creed. Which I'm glad they're not. Give that franchise a break. Don't let it become a yearly cash-in because when you do it, the quality of your game hurts big time. The content of your game gets hurt even more. For any example of that, look at the WWE game, look at the NBA games, look at the NFL, the Madden, look at all the sports games. Every year it just feels like a roster update that can cost you $120, not to mention the microtransactions that gets involved with it. And there's some features that are in much, much older games that still have not been implemented into these versions. Like there's a version in, think, in, 2000, in a 2008 version, not Madden, but a different back when another company was able to do it, where an injury would break up a play. You don't really see that in the new Maddens. Or at least not that I know of. I haven't played any Maddens or any of the NBA games or any of those yearly cash-in titles for a couple of years. Not because I'm not a sports fan or anything, but because I don't feel like paying $120 a year just to play something that, ooh, the grass now moves in one way or in the other. Really? Well, then again, when you only have a year to work on it, yeah, I guess that's the only that's the best you're going to be able to come up with. But anyway, back to the South Park. This game looks interesting. I wonder who your alliance members could be. 
and there's just a lot of things that I want to explore with it. I really hope you get to explore all of South Park, every single dark corner recess that resides in that small mountain town. I really hope it comes out fantastic. Now, there's also something that intrigues me a little bit about the Towley pre-ordered set. Like, Towley, your gaming bud. If you're not familiar with Towley, then he's a pot-smoking towel from the South Park universe. I don't know what he's... I don't know if it's going to be a playable character, if he's going to be an ally or something. But... That just leaves a nice question mark for everyone to kind of delve into. I'm pretty sure they'll come out with it later on to fi figure out what exactly Towley does. From what I've seen, it looks like he's either going to be some kind of alliance member or if it's just going to be like a map pack about Towley's world or something. I don't quite know. But this video is going to be actually relatively short in comparison to my normal videos. Mainly because I got to do a lot of work on my PS4 to get it back up and running again. But that's what I'm going to be talking about the next episode. So, there's really not much else to say. I'm anticipating the uh, the release of it. And then when I fix my PS4, I'll be able to actually pre-order it. But the reason why I have to fix my PS4 and get it situated properly, that's all coming up in the next video. I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.